Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Professor Presbury, back with another episode of Hey Professor, the show where we talk about everything you wanted to know about allied health, health administration, healthcare administration, and healthcare management. I am your professor, Javon M. H. Presbury. Sorry, there's a cat over there looking at me. That's the cat in question, if anyone's. See, I wasn't tripping. There's an actual cat. People be looking at me like. All right, that's, that's off topic. In any case, so <laughs> the topic of today's conversation um, was going to be uh, loyalty, right? Now, I don't mean that as in like relationships. Well, you know what? Maybe I do. But this is the business uh, flavored YouTube channel. So what I talk about is like, let's say loyalty to a company versus loyalty to people. Um, I've had students reach out to me. I've had people ask me, you know, does it make sense to be loyal to an organization or to make sense to be loyal to people or professor? What do you think about this? Here's the answer, right? It does not, in my experience, it does not do well. It does not make sense to be loyal to a organization. Hard stop. Just don't do it. It doesn't make any sense. Let's say you work for a hospital or a physician's office and you what actually the physician's office is a little bit different. So let's say that you work for a hospital. You work for that hospital for five years, maybe even 10 years, sometimes even 15 years, depending on how long you've been there, right? You may hear people say all the time and you may hear pe people say often, never be loyal to a company because a company will never be, be loyal to you. Here's the thing, right? Companies are made up of individuals and they're made up of people, yes. And those people, and then those individuals change over time, obviously, as people come, people go, people leave, hired, fired, promoted, etc. right? But the thing you gotta understand, at least in my experience, the experience of everyone I know, is that a company will always do what is best for them first, right? Companies have a tendency to view people in the positions that they're in. And that's nothing wrong with that, but they'll say, okay, we, we need an office manager, so we're gonna hire an office manager, Okay, that's what we need. We're going to do what's within our, our budget. And we as the company is always going to do what's in the best interest of the company. Understand that first and foremost. They are going to do what's in their best interest always. And that's why I say, you know, the people, once you get really at a certain point in your career, what you're going to realize is that it's a two-way street. It's a relationship. So while the company is gaining something from your employment, yes, you should also be gaining something from them. Not only in experience, but in benefits and all those other things. Now, some people are going to say, hey, professor, you know what? I, I don't agree with you. My my company is more like family, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there are exceptions to every rule, yes. But, you know, I think that some of the smaller companies are a little bit different because you get to know people on a different basis. You know them on a little bit more of an intimate uh type of relationship you know people you know they might be right across the hall from you it's a smaller organization but don't misunderstand and don't mix feelings that these places will get rid of you and they will post the, the, uh, the position sometimes same day and now here's the caveat because again the whole video wasn't just gonna be negative it's not gonna be me being like don't trust nobody trust only yourself clock in only work for yourself work for yourself no, I don't mean like that, you know? Look off for of you, just only look off for of you. Don't trust that guy, the guy with the coffee. Don't trust him, you don't know what's in the coffee. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm playing, right? I'm joking. That's, that's not the context of the video. Loyalty to an organization, no. Loyalty to people, yes. And the reason I say that is because in my time, you can work with people, you can form a really great bond, and then you can just click. You can find a really good team, right? Say you're a manager and you find a administrator that you wanted to hire that works under you and you guys work really well. You can have a sense of camaraderie, a sense of teamwork, a sense of loyalty between you and that person. And I've seen it, right? At the higher up levels, sometimes people take entire teams with them. So maybe you have a VP of uh, finance or a VP of revenue cycle, right? And then that guy brings with him when he's going to a new organization, his entire team. He may have like three directors under him that he trusts, a couple of managers, whatever. That stuff happens. People kind of, kind of sometimes go places as, as a package, right? Because they're like, hey, you know what? 
I'm going over to an organization as a person I work really well with. And at the interview process, when they're interviewing with the organization, they say, look, I already have my own team and structure. I want to bring them with me. Sometimes they'll, they'll say yes. Sometimes they'll say no. But you can bring those teams with you. Sometimes that really works. So circling back, does it make uh, sense to be loyal to an organization? No. Does it make sense to be loyal to people? Yes. I've worked with people even to this day who, if I went to a, a new organization and I called them up and I said, yo, would you come work for me? They would say, a a absolutely. And they'd probably come over to where I'm at because that's how well we, we work together. We have a sense of loyalty between us. I've seen it within other organizations. I've seen HIM directors who bring coding managers. I've seen CEOs who bring VPs. I've seen VPs who bring directors. You really can build those types of relationships in the industry to where you're a part of a team and someone looks out for you and they think of you and they keep you in mind. They offer you a position in the future or you do the same for them. This doesn't go 100% all across the board, but it does happen. So sometimes when you find a good team that you work with, you wanna make sure that team stays intact. It's really hard to find good people. So when you get a good person or you get a good squad around you, right? A good squad, right? A good, a good team, you wanna make sure that those people come with you. And you know, try to foster those relationships because in the industry, like I said, it doesn't make sense to be loyal to an organization. An organization changes the, the scope, the scale, the goals of the organization will change as the people in charge of it change. But if you really build those connections with those other people and you're really close with them, it does make sense, yes, to go with them if that's what you want. You may ask, but professor, why would you want to take somebody with you anyway? Like, what difference does it make? Because the truth is, you're going to have people at an organization under you, above you, sideways, you know, lateral, etc. The truth is, a lot of jobs are obviously stressful. You know, jobs are work. So I think for most people, when you can kind of hit that stride and find a relationship with someone who you're able to work with and kind of takes the pressure off of both of you, you know, that really can go a long way. Um, some people say that, you know, having good em employees makes a, a, a job better. Other people say, you know, having a good boss can make a, a job better. And finding that relationship can kind of be special, you know, because you know each other's temperament. You work really well. She protects you. You protect her. I said she. It could be a male, too. I'm not talking about my own life. I'm just saying, you know, you have somebody that works under you, you know, you protect them. They protect you. You look out for each other. And it just works out. Hitting that stride is incredibly rare, I think. So it's something to be valued. This is no matter where you go, no matter what position you hold or have in the future, you're going to have people that you work with under you and above you. But I think that sometimes it really does help to have a team that you really trust uh, around you. So if you can build it, build it. Try to keep it together as best you can. Because sometimes people, you know, they'll, they'll follow you. They'll want to go with you. But sometimes they won't. Yeah. And either way, you're going to have to do your, your, your job. Uh, but again, that's Professor Presbury. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go have breakfast now. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character. That is the true goal of education.